From all of us here at Catholic Culture, Merry Christmas. Rather than a full sermon today, we'll be reading instead a few brief sermon notes jotted down by St. John Henry Newman on the occasion of Christmas 1851. Before his conversion, Newman had always preached his sermons from a prepared manuscript. As a Catholic priest, on the other hand, Newman preferred to preach his homilies more in keeping with what Catholics were used to, with a more extemporaneous feel. Interestingly, the notes were, for the most part, written down after the sermon, not before, an indication that, even after having been prepared, Newman's thoughts would continue to develop as he preached. Though his collected sermon notes are, by comparison, more muted than his full sermons, they are, nevertheless, fascinating, rewarding, and worthy of reflection in their own right. With that being said, here are St. John Henry Newman's sermon notes on the special charm of Christmas, 1851. The two chief festivals of the Church are Easter and Christmas. Of these, Easter is the greater. Yet somehow we adorn our churches more brightly and spontaneously now than then. There is more of heart, apparently, in what we do, and there is an inexpressible charm over all. The Midnight Mass, the Three Masses, the special representations, whether the stable or the infant, again, the singing of carols. Why is this? Christmas is easier to understand to the mass of men. It comes home to them more readily and imposes an easier duty on our worship. It is the difference between coming and going. The apostles felt that sorrow filled their hearts at the going of the Lord. Mane nobiscum domine, stay with us, Lord. Easter is the feast of the perfect. If we were perfect, we should rejoice in Easter the more of the two festivals. In the one, Christ comes to us. In the other, we go to Christ. All our human feelings are soothed by Christmas. Abraham had to leave his country. We naturally do not like to move. We are allowed to remain at home. Christ comes to us as our guest. And coming, he brightens everything. He does not take away, he adds he adds grace to nature. If at any time we might love the world, it is now. If at any time, it is when he is come to be our Emmanuel. He makes the world our home, for he deigns to be the light of it. He sanctifies families with the image of Mary and Jesus. And where there is no home in a family, then he brings us all together in one family in church. The Midnight Mass is our holy celebration of Christmas, eclipsing the world's merrymaking. And we think of Him, who put off all His glory, of which our celebrations are but a type. The priestly vestments, a type of His glory, which He put off in order to come into this bleak prison and suffer for us. Let us rejoice in Him. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll be back in the new year.